Hey guys, and welcome back to Fake Card Friday. So you know how Exodia, you know, Exodia, how sacky it is, how you just beat your opponent with a secondary win condition and it's so just skillless and just sacky. Yeah, well, every once in a while someone thinks that Exodia needs some more support. So we have this person here who made this Exodia card. So we're going to go ahead and look at this card as if it's a real card and determine whether Exodia decks will play this card. So this card is called Door to the Forbidden One. It's a normal trap card that, re that reads, Reveal any number of Forbidden One cards in your hand. Negate next number of attacks. This turn equals then... Equals then... What the fuck? That's so weird. You mean equal to? That's a really weird... Idea. Negate next number of attacks. This turn equals then number of cards revealed. I guess you meant equal to the number of cards revealed, but apparently you can't fucking type and you're dyslexic. So, yeah. <laughs> so... First part of the effect, so, uh, that, that effect's actually not too bad, you know, generally when it comes to an Exodia deck, if your opponent doesn't just immediately quit, uh, when they realize you're playing Exodia, one of the problems with Exodia deck is that, you know, forbidden one cards, your pieces don't do anything when you have them in your hand, you know, they only do something when you get collect all five and you win the duel, but, you know, as you're slowly collecting those pieces, that's less cards that you're getting to, you know, help you draw or help you protect yourself, you know? There could be a time where you have four pieces of Exodia in your hand and you never get, you know, you're never getting anything to draw until that fifth one. You're just sitting there and taking damage to the chin. You don't have any trap cards to negate the damage that you're taking. You don't have any battle faders. You have no source scare cards. All you have is pieces of Exodia. So this card will, of course, uh, help that out by being able to just go ahead and play this card, reveal how many pieces you've got in your hand, which... Uh, will help because you know it's kind of like a uh, two-sided thing. Your, uh, you know, your opponent will get to automatically know exactly how many pieces you have. Well, actually, you ha you get to reveal any number. So you know, if you only need to gate one attack, you always can reveal just one piece. But you know, you gotta reveal uh, your pieces, some pieces of the forbidden one, and you block attack. So um, this card existed. I think they would run it. I would think they would run it. You know, it's like another wobble, a wabaku or uh, uh, a threatening roar. You know. Not taking damage, and uh, yeah, that's all it's fine for, for Exodia decks. How sacky they are, you know. More if you don't take any damage, and you get to watch them play with themselves. So, this card will fit right in. But this card has more effects. So, let's uh, move on to some more effect of it. So, during the start of your next draw phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Instead of conducting your normal draw, excavate the top five cards in your deck. You can add one forbidden one card excavated by this effect. Then return the remaining cards to the top of your deck in any order. If you add card, if if you add card, if you you mean added, if you add card to your hand by this effect, skip your next draw phase. You can only activate this effect of Door to the Forbidden One once per turn. Okay, so pretty much through the not only get to do you get to block at an attack or a couple of attacks with this card but during your draw phase you can uh, go ahead and banish this card to see the next five cards of your deck or excavate so your opponent will get to see them as well but you know excavate the next five cards of your deck take a forbidden one piece put it in your hand and then put the other five cards back on top of your deck in any order you can't conduct your about your next draw phase but you know that, that's next five turns, you know, that's five turns into the future, that is, that is ridiculous, you know, you can just go excavate, you got four pieces in your hand, excavate the next five cards, oh, there's the fifth piece, add it to my hand, GG, so, yeah, if this card existed, definitely, definitely Exodia players would run it, but no, like, why, I, this is, that's the, that's my question, why, now, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and read what the creator said, I'm planning to make Forbidden One Archetype to support Exodia due to lack of specific support to them. This is the first one. Feel free to review them. Um, but I don't understand. Why? Why? You know, Exodia is already sacky, but do you, you really think that Exodia needs an archetype? An archetype for a win condition? That doesn't make any sense. That, you know, that's really dumb. Really dumb. You know, you could take your creativity and use it for something else, but, like, really? Really? I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about this card and whether uh, it would be ran and 
if it's Saki or not, because, you know, I, d I don't like the idea of supporting Exodia, not even remotely. I don't even like indirect support for Exodia, so actual support to help you get the card, I don't like that. So, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Alright, so, thanks for watching this episode of Fake Card Friday. So, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hope you at least got like a at least chuckle or a, or a, oh no 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 this can never exist out of it. So I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.